A lovely ambience, well laid out road network. That's what Akwaibom people are enjoying. But the state is on the hunt for one man to continue the work of the incumbent governor, Goswe Lakpabio. To many people, this looks like a tall order. The race has become more interesting. While some hope on the supernatural, others hold on to their tribal identity. Others are so confident and some believe the hilltop mansion is their due reward. Some say they are the redeemer and others believe they are the new face of politics. But even before the blast of the umpire's whistle, some have already chickened out. The huge number of aspirants is one feature of the Aquibom governorship contest, but the zoning issue is another. Some residents hold divergent views on the contentious issue of zoning and who to bear the touch. We are assessing them one after the other. We are looking at the antecedents, we are looking at the pedigree, at their pedigrees, and we are looking at what they can offer. But I can tell you that majority of Aquibom people want equity, zoning, and um, equity and justice. And the majority of the people of the state are in support of AK Senatorial District and they have credible aspirants there. Believe that somebody that our governor needs is going to perform. And we don't want somebody who will come and cannot even perform. The state is very big. So if we have our governor from Uyo Senatorial District, there's nothing wrong. If you have our governor from um, AK Senatorial District, there's nothing wrong. If you have our governor from Eco Senatorial District, there's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. It's the issue, it. yeah, the issue of zoning. I don't think we have that in, in the constitution of this country. As a Nigerian, as, as an indigenous of a particular state, and you know you have the power to, to, to emphasize your, your ability in any political party, and at the end of the day, you can market your candidature. There's nothing wrong with you being the governor of the state. Anekeme Fimba is a broadcaster. He says the aspirants are generally of good quality. The journalist lists what he believes the next governor will meet on his table. Roads will still need to be maintained, healthcare facilities will still need to be put in place, education will need to be upped, more scholarship, more bursaries, more people still need to go through school. And then we'll also be looking at wealth creation. Aquabum State is not educationally backward. We have uh, thousands of graduates churned out from school every other day, including lawyers, doctors, engineers, professionals in every field. But we don't have industries here. We don't have the market here. And uh, it, it appears politics is about the only industry that is viable around here. So I feel the people will need jobs. Fimba dismisses the idea that the incumbent governor has the capacity to impose anybody on the people. It does not have the powers to impose anybody because there will be general elections. The people will go to the ballot papers, they will go to the polling booths and they would vote. There would be elections in Akwaibom State. So there is absolutely nothing to fear uh, from, from, from the people's perspective that uh, there would be imposition, that a certain candidate would be foist on others. All this is politics and already we are seeing things play out. Popular candidates will always emerge at the end of the day. There are many aspirants but only a few will make it after the primaries. However, it is the voters that will decide come 2015 who will take over from the incumbent governor, either to consolidate on his gains or to bring out new policies that will eventually take the state forward. Asuku James, TVC News, Uyo, Akwaibon State.